Good morning. It is 7.50 a.m. on Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. 2 2 2 That's pretty neat, right? Do, 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 oh, do, do. <laughs> I uh, did a little bit wrong. Really. Do, 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 oh, oh, do, do. See, I got kind of a hybrid syllable with the O there in the rhythm. It doesn't quite perfectly work. I'll workshop it. Anyway, I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I technically didn't just get up. I just got back from walking Rocket around all over the place because now that I've got him home with me, uh, due to staying in the kennel for a while, he's fine, but his poops are off schedule. So he wasn't ready to poop promptly upon our excursion this morning, and we had to walk around a fair bit. And, you know, maybe he could have held it longer if we had just, you know, come back inside and he had not pooped. But better, I think, to encourage him to go ahead and poop on the morning walk. Uh, get get back into the rhythm of things, so to speak. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, just looking at my dog. Uh, I had a great trip, but I did miss my little dog while separated from him because he's such a good boy. Um, but uh, in any case, uh, last night, as planned, um, I, I accomplished the various things that I had on my agenda. I went to my my D and D game, and we welcomed our new player. And she did great, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, then last uh, you know night before bed, uh, Mike and I recorded the introduction to our 2022 Oscar marathon. So, if you have heard about these things called the Oscars. You want to know what it's all about? Mike and I have got your back because uh, what we did is basically ran down the nominations and talked a little bit about which ones we've seen already and which ones we hope to see next. And then, of course, as the weeks go by, we will be talking about the movies that we're trying to see because we we try just as a as a friendly game to see as many of the nominated movies as possible. And, you know, as we talk about in that episode, it's not because the Oscars are some uh, sacrosanct list of the official best movies, because obviously that's all subjective. But it is a way to call attention to movies that you might otherwise have not gone to see, for example. And it's just a fun way to encourage you to go see good movies. And, yeah. Yeah. So that's what that's all about. Um, I, as part of that whole effort, watched CODA yesterday, which is an acronym that stands for Ch uh, Child of Deaf Adults. Uh, and I thought it was lovely. Um, it's about a girl uh, who is the only hearing member of her family. Both her parents and her older brother are deaf. Uh, and they all work kind of in the, you know, the fishing industry in Massachusetts, or, or at least, uh, you know, the girl is in high school, but she helps out her family. Um, and she has developed a talent and an interest in singing and wants to pursue that, but feels conflicted because um, it, it could potentially mean... Uh, not uh, help, you know, is conflicting priorities with her family who are uh, embarking on a new, you know, business venture within their fishing industry. And, um, you know, we're kind of counting on her to help. And so, you know, she, she's torn in that way. And I, and I thought it was really lovely. And um, of note, uh, you know, I think it's worth commenting on that, you know, uh, I think, No. Well, I guess I looked in a little bit just to see, because anytime you have something like this that's, you know, um, higher visibility and representation, um, you, you want to kind of check in with the folks that are being represented and, and see how they feel about it. And it seems like there's, there's a little bit of a mixed bag here. Um, certainly the deaf 
characters are played by deaf actors, which is great. And Troy Katsur, who plays the, um, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, um, uh, playing the father of the family, is great and got an acting nomination. Uh, and uh, my understanding is the first uh, acting nomination for a deaf actor. So great for him. And I thought he was really wonderful in the movie. Um, and so it seems like there's a lot, you know, there's some positive stuff, but I guess there's also, uh, I will say without wanting to diminish at all the voices of the people, um, who, who were criticizing in it, uh, it, uh, what I found a couple of times was reading some of the criticisms of it. They were saying it reinforces this message. And I'm thinking I didn't get that from the movie at all. But obviously, everyone's mileage will vary, and uh, and it is, of course, after you know, you know, many years of either no representation or bad representation. You know, it makes sense that people, uh, you know, these are sensitive topics. But overall, at least in my own personal estimation, I found the movie lovely, and I recommend it. Um, it became my favorite of the current Best Picture nominees uh, that I've seen so far, which that's only four of ten. So, got a ways to go. But in the meantime, I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.